Hola everybody and thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new here, my name is Lisa and welcome to Our Gray House. I absolutely love how this piece turned out. I feel like it just fits great in this area and it's not too big, not too small, just right. It's a super easy thing to do and you can really transfer this type of basic skill to almost any project in your home. All right, now we're at the part of the project where I have painted the board white. Where are the board? Where's the board? I painted the board white, and it's just a really light one coat. I wasn't trying to do it too dark because I didn't want to. That's not how I wanted it. I've just been kind of really feeling like the light white, almost white wash look. So anyway, I just did one coat of white on here because I didn't want it to be the plain wood color, and now. I have to measure out because I'm gonna be putting the letters on. So what happens next is I'm gonna position, there you go, I'm gonna position the letters and it's gonna spell out welcome. And then I'm going to, these are um, vinyl stickers-ish, kind of like a Cricut thing or a, a silhouette or whatever some people use. I don't know, but anyway, I, I, my friend sent these to me, and so uh, she's got a shop, I'll link her below. Anyway, so I'm gonna put those on here, and then I'm gonna paint it black with this, uh, what, what color was it? I don't remember what color it was. Anyway, it's, it's black, it's black color. Chalk, chalk black, something like that. It's not chalkboard paint, but anyway. So then I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna peel these letters off, so then you'll see the white behind, the whitewash behind, and then it'll say welcome <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in my entryway and it's gonna be gorgeous. So that's the part of the project I'm at now. Oh, the hair, yeah. Uh, you didn't come here for the tutorial on my hair. You came here to see what I was doing on this sign here, this welcome sign for my entryway. If you want a tutorial on the hair, just leave me a comment below. Exciting news in the Har household this morning, it's Sunday. Marvin is helping me do the welcome sign. What? I'm having him help me because He's much more patient and far more better at math than I am. And we need math for this project because we have to put this and it needs to be like, not exact, but it, it needs to be like closer than I probably would do. And I got a handy dandy little squeegee. It's actually a pampered chef little stone thing, but we're trying to put it on and then I'm gonna paint black over it. But yeah, gotta get these down first. So he's helping me center them as well as align them. Help you when I pull it off. Marvin, you take this clear part off in a second. Yeah, this is coming off. Or does the, the black come off by itself? Yeah, separate. Oh. Separate, we got this baby, we got this. We're just making sure the W's down really good and then we take off that clear thing and then we paint, then we take off the black thing. So here he is measuring it out. We're doing an inch space in between and then just lining it up. And we've already got the W on, it worked. See, this is where I needed his help because he gets like, how wide is the letter and how, you know. And so I would not be as good. And luckily, whoa, we did this in pencil. We did it in pencil. And when I say we, I mean him. This is kind of a non-tutorial tutorial because basically all you do is get your piece of wood or whatever you're gonna use and then you, we painted ours white, just a light coat, and then you put the vinyl stickers on and you have to make sure from your vinyl person that it's not the super sticky stickers, but it's the ones that can kind of come off. And then you put them down, and he's not doing it with my assistant, so I hope he does it right. And then um, you take off the um, plasticky part, and then you paint over it, and then you lift up those vinyl stickers, and the color you had underneath, which is white in our case, will show through and and we're gonna paint it this color black. I hope it turns out. If it's still tacky, you'll, you'll smudge it. So we're discussing how we should do it, and um, so I'm just gonna do it the way Marvin says to. I was just saying like, oh, I'll just do like around the, the edge of the letters, like choo, 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 like that, 
And then Marvin's just saying, do this, do the whole thing. So that's what I'm gonna do, the whole thing. And just pray the cats don't jump up there. <laughs> but it's looking cute so far. But it's gonna be reversed. The letters are gonna be white and then the, the board will be black once I pull off the, paint it and pull off the final. So here we go. Now I fully admit, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just winging it. But I'm applying chalk paint. Trying to just do long strokes. And I am going to paint the sides and the back, but just not today. And I'm doing one coat right now to see how I like it, how it dries, see if there's any major splotchy areas that need to be fixed or filled in or something like that. But Marvin said just try to do it in long strokes. I'm just using this little sponge that I got from probably the Dollar Tree. Um, so it's kind of a Dollar Tree product, uh, project. And I probably have some painter friends watching this right now going, no, that, that's, not, that's not how you do it. But you're not here to help. So it is what it is. First coat is done. I'm using the Rust-Oleum Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal. And I barely used any of it. So that's good because I'll have extra for other projects because I have another project. But anyway, let's, let's talk about this one. So now I've done one coat. It says one coat coverage. So I've done one coat. I'm liking how it's drying. I'm liking it. I still have to do the back and make sure that I got the sides, you know, good. And then it'll be done. And then we peel off. You can kind of see the letters still on there. We peel those letters off and then it reveals the white that I had painted underneath. And I didn't paint it like a white like that. It was just like, you know, like one coat of white. Um, because I want it to look a little rustic, a little weathered, a little not so brand new type thing. So I'm really excited. Plus the next project that involves this kind of, you know, doodad, handiwork, whatever, is um, going to be a sign for over the sign of the map in my office. Here, let me go show you. I'm in my home office and this is where I do, you know, my filming mostly and my wing mom's work and my realty work and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, behind me is this map, but above it is space up there, up there. And I'm gonna put a sign that says, oh, the places we'll go. I know it's, oh, the places you'll go, the Dr. Seuss thing, but um, it's the places we'll go, meaning me and Marvin. And this is a map and we put little map pins of all the places that we visited. And then here's my Nancy Drew collection. Here's the old books that I used for decor. Anyway, so I'm gonna put, I'm gonna have a, um, we have a thin piece of wood out there. I'm gonna paint it white, pretty sure. I'm gonna paint it white. And then we're gonna put the letters. I already have the letters. Susie already sent me those. Um, I purchased them from her Etsy shop. I'll link that in the description box below. But anyway, so um, I will paint it white again and I'll probably do the black because I really do like that color. And then we'll do the same process where we paint it white, put the letters down, paint it black, pull the letters off, psh, done. And then I'll have a sign for my office as well. This is definitely not one of those Dollar Tree like type projects that I normally do, but the wood, we bought this, gosh y'all, almost a year ago. <laughs> it's been quite a long time since um, I've wanted to do the project. I've had the letters for a while, I've had the paint for a little bit, and just never got to it. In fact, I had the board. The board is gonna go in the hallway um, right there, and I've had that board in there plain for almost a year as well. <laughs> so anyway, we decided to get things done, get it, um, put together and so yeah, I'm really liking how it's drying. Yeah, I'm just I'm liking it I think it's it's gonna turn out perfect. Okay. I can't wait I'm gonna try to peel off some of the letters and see how it turned out Marvin's gonna help me trying to pull the letters off Is it working? Do we need like a Razor or something? I'm afraid it might scrape <gasps> It's our first project like this it's looking great. It's like peeling off a face mask. It's looking good, hon. <laughs> Isn't it? Mm -hmm. If you can't tell, I'm excited.
while he's trying to peel off the W. Look what we did today. And when I say we, I mean him. He hung that up for me. My granddaughter made that for us. Now I just gotta get some pictures hung up. It's looking so good. It's looking good. Okay, we're gonna try to peel it off and I'll show you the end result. I just love how this sign turned out. It was so easy to do and you can really make different kinds of signs just using the same techniques that I use today. I really love how this project turned out. I just think it looks so great. We did it together and it was a lot of fun. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. It really helps my channel grow and I just love connecting with you guys. So I'd love to hear what you're working on. Don't forget if you want to follow me on Instagram or on YouTube, it's Our Great House, but just don't follow me in real life though because that's creepy. Bye.